Let's turn our buggy into a land yacht. All right, what the heck is going on here? First thing we need to do is put a mast step on it, something to hold the mast, and ignore the wood. What I'm trying to figure out is how to put a mast on this without buggering up the VMAX. So I reckon I'm going to use like a clamping system, similar to the way that I put the clamp on here. Two bolts either side, plate either side, bolt through the bottom of the mast. And I've seen a few where they run a brace all the way back to the axle. That sort of gets in the way, but because I've got the swan neck on this, I reckon I could probably use a brace across there to support it. And that's going to need to be pretty tough and also just stand back a bit and I'll show you what I mean. It's probably going to have to be tough enough to withstand the tip of the buggy over. Because the sail's going to put a hell of a lot of leverage on it. So this is just sort of proof of concept to see whether this will work and it, it looks pretty good. Um, originally I put a bolt through there and through the mast uh, but it was advised uh, probably weaken the mast so instead what I'm going to do is pop a bolt either side to support the mast and done up tight enough it's not going to be able to move very far. That's all the theory anyway. Um, what do I know about land yachts? Nothing. Not a bloody thing. What I know about land yachts I've been right on the back of a matchbox. However, there's a very uh, famous Western Australian by the name of Chook who's answering all my questions very generously. Thanks, mate. But if it doesn't work, we all blame Chook. Now, this is supposed to be 54, 55 millimetre inside diameter and somewhere around the 250mm or 300mm high. Voila, one proper mast step. And at the top of this, it should be flared out a little bit, but I don't have the, the knowledge or the tools to flare it, so I'm gonna file that uh, and smooth that off as much as I can, so I can for that in, if that's the correct word for it. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, but so there's no sort of stress on the uh, mast where it exits that. So, I'm going to use that, it's going to be my mast step, mast holder. And because I've got a crappy little band saw and I can't weld, I sort of like working with aluminium. So I'm going to use some aluminium plates. Uh, I'll probably wrap a bit of tape around with the bolts in the middle, much as they've done here, uh, to protect marking the swan neck. And I'll also leave a little bit of gap under the last bolt here because evidently we need to tighten the leading edge of the sail down with a hell of a lot of force, something like about 100 kilos of force. So there'll be uh, a pulley system pulling the, uh, the leading edge of the sail down. I think it's called the downhaul. So I'll wrap a little strap underneath that bottom bolt so I'll be able to put enormous force on that. So I'll leave a little bit of play on these for both padding, insulation against the, uh, the swan neck and a little bit of a gap to slide like a, a bit of tape or something to make a little loop that I can attach pulleys to. All right, let's get cutting and uh, cracking. That looks like it might work. Let's give it a go. Step is 63 mil, and the down tube on the VMAX that I'm going around is only 40, so I'm going to need some packers. So I'm just going to use some ply, cut that shape so they'll sit on either side, and I should have 63 mil right in the middle so I don't crush me mast step. That's the plan. Plan the work, work the plan. That seems to be a good fit. Beautiful. 
and I'll just have to make sure I leave enough space so this can pivot because it, by moving the brace up or down I can actually adjust the, uh, the rake I think of the sail. Spray paint a black, look like I bought one. Looks pretty good. Now, for the brace. Alright, so we've got our buggy reasonably level. So, now I've got to set the rake of the mast, or the angle of the mast. And it's supposed to be, give or take, five degrees that away. So I figure if I can make it so I can adjust it through a few degrees, if I do find I'm stepping out at the back, I can tilt the mast forward. Uh, if I've got too much push on the front, I can tilt the mast back and put the pressure out. Um, something like that. Four, five, five degrees. I can slide this down which will push that further back and I've got room to slide it up a bit too which will push it a bit forward. I can also slide this up and down too so I can alter the angle of that quite radically. Okay, well that's about as far as I can go at the moment. I've left the mast step at 500mm, which is too long, but I'll wait till I actually find a mast before I go uh, cutting that down. Uh, this has turned up pretty well. It's nice and solid. Uh, you can see I've put some uh, heat shrink tubing just around the, uh, the bolts to stop them marking the swan neck. And I've got my little loops under that bolt down there. So that'll be my downhaul system on the uh, on the sail so I think that's pretty good um, that should all come off I'll take off those two bolts there take off those two bolts there whole lot lifts off uh, or I can just take off the top one and the mast and leave that sitting there which is probably what I'll do because that's not going to catch on anything that I do with a kite so it should be fine so there it is that's probably the main bit of engineering done um, feels very solid depending on what mast I end up with. If I get a mast that's uh, a skinnier one than sort of the standard, I'll just get a, a something like that and drop it in. Maybe I'll split it with a, uh, a jigsaw or something uh, and pop a sleeve in. Um, there's plenty of options to do there. So there you have it. That is a mast step that should work pretty well, I think. all nylocks, all stainless steel bolts. Hopefully the aluminium won't bend. It is 10 mil thick. It feels pretty chunky. Well, we'll see. If it bends, well, I'll just replace it with plate steel, I guess. So, um, that sort of concludes this uh, bit of engineering. The next step is to get the mast and the sail and then rig that up uh, rig a boom up and put some sort of attachment for the sheeting rope off the back of the buggy uh, make sure everything clears my head so there you go uh, to be continued many thanks to chook and remember if it doesn't work it's all your fault